Our Emily Chang caught up with the TPG Growth Founder and Rise Fund CEO, Blil McCashin. She started by asking about impact investing and how to make sure you're not diminishing financial returns. I spent a year and a half when we started this fund, when Bono, uh, Jeff Skoll and I started the Rise Fund. We spent a year and a half working with Bridgespan as a partner to understand whether we could actually measure impact. And after a lot of work, we concluded, in fact, we had a credible way of both underwriting impact, tracking it during the course of our investment, ultimately reporting on it, and we brought KPMG in to provide assurance of impact. And in each case, in each company we go into, we look for a way to, to measure the monetary value of the social or environmental impact the company's providing. And we do that in parallel with the investment return underwriting that we would traditionally do. So at the end of the day, we're first and foremost, making sure these are good investments, but also, secondly, ensuring that these, these companies are going to deliver a real, measurable outcome. Tell me a bit of the story, what attracted someone like Bono to this, or Jeff Skoll of eBay? Well, these are, in fact, every one of the founders' board members are people, those two in particular, as my co-founders, are people who spent their lives focused on social and environmental impact. Jeff Skoll with his uh, efforts at Participant. Um, he has his own impact fund that he was one of the original pioneers in, in launching uh, Capricorn. Um, so he's been a long-term uh, you know, leader in this field. Bono, with all of his work across Africa, first began investing about a decade ago when Mo Ibrahim, who's also on the Founders Board, encouraged him, if you're really serious about development, you have to invest to create scale. There are 15 million jobs needed this year in Africa and there are 15 million jobs needed next year and the year after just based on the demographics. And there's a general awareness that we're not going to get there in terms of solving these big social environmental problems unless we activate scalable, sustainable capital to achieve these ends. Why have a separate fund for this strategy versus TPG Growth, your other baby, and TPG Capital? So TPG Growth is the investing firm that's driving this. Our belief was in order to accomplish the impact priorities, we needed to add a incremental group of talent uh, necessary to do the work around impact and to drive the sector themes. And we wanted to attract people that wanted to co-found this, like Bono and Jeff and the other founding board members, Reed Hoffman, Lorene Jobs, uh, Richard Branson, and the others that are part of it, uh, who wanted to create a new model uh, that could ultimately shape the way investing is done in this in the space, the impact space. TPG is also an investor in Uber. A lot of drama over the last several months, and I have to ask you, TPG didn't sign the letter that asked for, for Travis to resign, and I'm curious why you didn't, and, and what you think about the fact that he's no longer CEO. Is that the right call? We're focused on trying to make sure that ultimately our investors create the best return uh, from Uber and working with the company closely to uh, help realize the incredible promise of this business. It continues to be one of the most exciting companies in the world and one of the most exciting companies in our, our portfolio. And you know, our focus has been to quietly work behind the scenes on trying to achieve the best outcome there.